Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about successive ionization energy. Okay, we will explain the increase in the successive ionization energy of an element and we will deduce the electronic configuration of element based on the successive ionization energy data. Okay, so on your notes, it will be on page 11. So what is actually meant by successive ionization energy? Okay, it means that the energy required to remove one electron after the other electrons. Uh, so, this is actually from the outer electrons to inner electrons. Okay, so for a given element, electrons can be removed one after the other. So, we have learned kan, about the first ionization energy, second ionization energy. It could be third ionization energy, boleh. Uh, fourth ionization energy, boleh. Huh? And the list go on, nah, the number will go on. Okay. As each electron is removed from an element, the, the ions become more positively charged. So it means that first it is a neutral atom. Once we have removed, um, remember that uh, ionization energy is the energy required to remove one mole of electron um, from one mole of gases atom or ion. So once we have removed one, so it is X plus. X plus when we remove one more electron, it will become X2 plus. Remove one electron here, the x3 plus. If we remove one more electron, it will become x4 plus. So it means that, uh, itulah maksud dia. After each electron is removed, the ions become more positively charged. For positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, and so on. And pulling away electron from a species with a higher positive charge is harder and need more energy. So that's why the successive ionization energy is increasing. So this is actually example of successive ionization energy for magnesium. Okay, so as, as we can see from the first until last, the third ionization energy will be increasing. Because when we remove the electron from a positively charged um, species, uh, it will become harder lah. Because that's actually attraction kan between our positively charged to electron. So that's why. Okay, next point. A large increase in successive ionization energy occurs between the removal, removal of the last valence electron and the first core electron. First core electron ni means our inner electron lah. Uh, so here from there we can actually determine what is the electronic configuration of your element. Okay, which can be determined by first method is the ionization energy ratio. The second one is the differences in ionization energy. Okay, but then the ionization energy ni could be only determined for S block and P block elements only. So, when we determine in the group, it could be 1, 2, 13 until 18. Group 3 until group 12 tak boleh lah. Okay, so for example, kalau valence electron kita, if our valence electron kita 1, dia jadi group 1. Kalau valence electron kita 2 is group 2. Okay, tapi dia jadi lain sikit. Kalau dia valence electron is group the valence electron present is actually 3. So, it means that the group, dia bukan group 3, group 13. Sebab, uh, for the, to determine the uh, electronic configuration from the IE data tu, uh, it's only for S block dengan P block je. Kalau kamu kata group 3, mana boleh? Group 3 ni is actually our D block. Okay, so kalau group 4, dia akan maksud, it means that it's from group 14. Okay. So, without further ado, let's look for the calculation. So, here it mentioned that the four successive ionization energy for atom X is shown below. Determine the group of atom A. Ah, so, kita kena carilah what is the valence. Okay, remember, it could only be de determined from group 1, 2, 13 until 18. Okay, so there are two methods to uh, determine the valence electron. It's either by the ratio or by the differences. So, first ni misalkan buat dua-dua lah. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the ratio, okay, ratio ni first I'm going to find out IE2 ni divided by IE1. So, to my first ratio nak cari. Second ratio, IE3 divided by IE2, second ratio. Next ratio I'm going to find IE4 divided by IE3. So, contohnya the question give you IE5. So, you have to find lah the fourth ratio juga. But for this case, since it, it only give us four values, so we're going to find out the three ratios. Okay, so yang ini nanti Miss akan cepatkan. Uh, kamu tengok lah nanti eh. So, I'm gonna do, remember is by the ratio. Okay. 
So, this is actually the calculation. Okay. So, from the ratio, macam mana nak tahu what is actually the valence electron? Okay, so here it mentioned that um, first we're going to find out which one is has the highest ratio. So, as we can see, the highest ratio is IE3 divided by IE2. So, I'm going to write down IE3 divided by IE2 has the highest ratio. So, what does it mean is that the more energy is required to remove the third electron. Okay, as we can see, kat sini kan memang bigger jam lah. Maybe we're when we try to remove the third electron, memang from 1000 ni jadi kiranya 100 and for, uh, 1400. Okay. So, sini, more energy is required to remove actually the third electron. Okay, so what does it mean is, is that the third electron is removed from inner shell. Okay. Uh, so, what does it mean? Our numerator itself ni is what we call, kalau kita tengok ni, numerator is actually our inner shell or our inner electron. So, what does it mean is uh, yang our denominator ni or the bottom part of our um, fraction ni will become our valence electron. So, yang ni will become our valence electron. Okay. So, maknanya, from the third one ni, uh, third one is actually from our inner. So, contohnya lah eh. Contohnya, 1S2, 2S2. Okay, so we have removed two electron kan? So, bila kita dah remove 1S2, 2S2. So, here, from here, so it means we uh, we have become 1S2 sahaja. So, the third electron ni, uh, bila kita remove nak jadi 1S1, uh, so that's why lah dia punya ionization energy ni, tiba-tiba uh, memang a high jump here. Okay. So, that's why, so kita cakap, kalau based on the ratio itself, ha, selangnya kalau nak ingat, kalau your numerator ataupun uh, the upper part of your fraction will become your inner electron. Okay, kalau yang valence electron ni, it's actually the um, the denominator part. Okay, so how many of the valence electron present? Ha, sebenarnya kita ada two valence electron are present. So, which atom is actually group A? Group A is in group 2. Okay. So, if you're unsure, boleh tengok lagi sekali. Okay. Tapi ni in terms of ratio. How about if in terms of differences? So, sama juga what I'm going to do is I'm going to do calculation. For this part, not differences. So, Okay, so right now when we look at the differences pula, yang ni kalau kamu nak buat in terms of differences lah, it's either one. Okay, so yang ni pun sama juga. As we can see which part has the highest difference yang IE3 minus IE2. So, kita bagi tahu lah IE3 minus IE2 have the highest difference. So, what does it mean is, okay, more energy is required to remove the third electron. Okay, kalau for this case pula, IE, Okay, for this case, ha, yang ni. Kalau yang minus ni, okay. Yang the one that being, uh, the first part tu is actually our, well, our inner. Yang minus ni, inner minus kita punya, yang ni kita akan kira kita punya valence. So, up to you lah yang mana kamu nak tengok. Okay, so more energy is required to remove the third electron. So, it means that our third electron tu is removed from inner shell. But then the question was the group. Kalau group ni kita kena determine the valence electron. Ha, the group ni kena lah valence. Okay, eh, ha, so kita lah. So, third tu from our initial. So, valence electron kita yang present is actually two. So, A is actually in group two. So, contohnya, okay. Kalau Miss buat tadi, Miss dah bagi tahu kan. Eh. Kalau contohnya, A ni kan 1S2, 2S2 lah Miss bagi. So, group two. So, yang ni paling simple lah. Okay, so contohnya, bila Miss dah remove, bila dah jadi 1S2, 2S1, ada punya ionization energy 899. Kalau dia jadi 1S2, dia 1757. Okay. Bila dah remove 3 of the electrons, but originally dia kan ada 4 kan? Ha, so, kalau yang ni 4, ni yang maknanya 3, jadi 2, ni dia jadi 1S1, 1S1. Uh, maknanya from the 1S2 ni nak remove lagi. 
1s2 1s uh, 1s1 uh, so kita remove the third electron so bila kita dah remove fourth electron tu dah jadi zero lah tak ada apa-apa ok so as we can see maknanya sekarang ni dia dah remove tu electron ni um, dah remove first electron kan dia jadi 1s2 to s1 bila remove lagi satu ni dia ok lagi tapi sebab ini masih lagi we remove electron from our valence shell tapi ni dah from here to here kita nak remove the electron from our inner shell lah that's why dia ada biggest jump ha, sebab itulah sebenarnya ok so now let's look for next example uh, example number 2 ni I'm gonna do ok miss nak buat ratio lah I'm gonna do uh, no, 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 I'm gonna do the difference part ok so dalam kes ni ada there's 4 lah sebab 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3, 5 minus 4. Ok, so yang ini mesti nak buat awal-awal dulu. So now we have calculated the differences. So kita tengok dekat sini. Kita tengok which one have the highest difference which is IE5 minus IE4. Ok. So, again, when we're talking about this part, yang mana satu yang ini, this one will be our inner electron. Inner electron, this will be our valence electron. Okay, so more energy is required to remove the fifth electron ni lah. Uh, the fifth electron. So, it means that the fifth electron ni is being removed from our inner shell. So, how many valence electron? 4 valence electron. So, B is in group 1. Uh, bukan group 4. So, kalau group 4 ni, dia adalah D block. Okay. Kalau P block, uh, as mentioned before, dia hanya boleh untuk S dengan P block sahaja. So, for P block, valence pluskan dengan pluskan dengan 10 to get the group. So, dia adalah group 14. Okay. So, sebenarnya, uh, it's uh, up to you which one you're going to do. It's either ratio ataupun the differences. So, remember lah. Kalau daripada sini. Kalau differences, the yang inner minus valence. If you want to do the ratio, the numerator is the inner part. The valence is actually uh, the denominator part. Okay. So, example number 3 and 4. I believe you could try yourself. Okay, now let's look for the case of graphical method. Okay. So, uh, previously, uh, it already given us the value. So, we have to calculate. Yang ini dia straightforward sikit. Tapi, maybe I need some time for you to understand ni. Tapi, tak apa. Kita akan buat ni sebagai terus uh, tips yang senang. Okay. So, the figure shows the energy and energy of atom E. So, dekat sini, maknanya first electron. Ni second electron. So, maknanya dekat sini, the two electrons, two electrons are being removed. Okay, and then dekat sini pula, another two more electron is being removed. Okay, so tapi dekat sini, this is actually a drastic increase. So, previously pun, where for the calculation of ratio and the differences, and kita kena cari the, um, where actually is the drastic increase. Uh, kali ni, the drastic increase is between electron number two and number three. Okay, once we know that it is a drastic increase, so it means that this one is actually our inner shell. So, here is actually our inner shell. Inner shell, inner electron pun boleh. So, it will become our valence shell. Ataupun valence electron. Ah, Okay. So, let's look here. So, how do we get here? Kita kat sini kan. The electron is removed from inner. Ah, betul kan? This is not inner. Kita nak ni. Valence shell. Valence shell. Okay. So, how many electron is removed from our valence shell? It's actually two. Two electron is removed from our valence shell. So, bila two electron is removed from our valence shell, so maknanya two valence electrons are present. So, E ni is actually in group two. Okay, so the valence electron, kalau dia punya electronic configuration, kalau tu dia adalah jadi NS2 lah. N ni kita tak pasti lagi what is actually any, it could be any value. So, I'm just going to write down NS2 eh, kat sini. NS2. Okay. And then, mention here. Another two electron is being removed. Nah, yang ni from inner shell pula. It is removed from inner shell at it, uh, as it need a high 
higher ionization energy. So, maknanya, um, since it is a, an inner electron, because it already stable kan, so maknanya we need a higher ionization energy to remove the electron. Sebab tu kita nampak drastic increase ni. So, kalau tu electron, apa sama juga? Dia sebenarnya NS2 juga. Ataupun sebenarnya, ha, kita tahulah kalau tu electron, this is the first one kan. Ha, sebenarnya, this is actually our 1S2. Kan tu electron 1S2. Ni jadi 2S2. Ha. So, selalunya salin kalau yang graph ni dia straightforward sikit. So, kita tengok 1S2, 2S2. Ha. Sebab dia memang bagi tahu terus yang berapa electron. Actually, yang ini memang ada total number of electron terus. Okay, jom kita tengok yang example number 2 ni. Okay. So, example number 2 ni. So, kita tengok dekat sini. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 ni. So, here we have our 4 electron. So, bila dia adalah 4 electron. Ha, lepas tu, uh, sorry. Kita kena labelkan lah dia. Here is balance electron. Okay. Lepas tu, this one. We have how many electron? Here is our 2 electron. Okay. 2 electron ni is our inner electron ni. Okay, dalam kes ni, ada, ha, ni masih lagi inner shell kan, balance shell. Okay, remember sebab drastic increase ni, so that's why I know this is my inner electron. So, how many electron, uh, uh, how many electron is being removed from our balance shell ni? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 electron, kalau apa tadi masih guna? Color orange, okay. 4 electron is removed, the 4 electron is removed, so it means that 4 valence electron are present. Tapi remember, kalau yang ni is actually for S block dengan P block. S block, group 1 and 2. P block, group 13 until 18. So, kalau ada 3 valence tu, maknanya group 13. Kalau 4 valence electron tu, group 14. Okay. Tak ya, ya. Dah lah. Group 30. Okay. So, F ni bukan group 4. Kalau group 4, nanti dia adalah D block. F is actually in group 14. Okay. So, kalau valence electron dia, adakah dia NS2 je? Yang ni baru ada 2. So, kalau 4, NS2, NP2. Okay. And the mention here, another 2 electron is being removed from our inner shell. Okay, and two electron, so maknanya dia akan jadi NS2 jugalah. We do not know lagi kan N2 equal to berapa. So, what is the electronic configuration? Ha, sebenarnya kita tahu, ha, ini sebenarnya dia akan jadi 1S. 1S2, 2S2, 2P2. Ha, sebenarnya kira lah 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Ha, dia sebenarnya successive ionization energy ni straightforward sahaja. Okay, so contohnya kita tengok dekat sini. The figure shows the ionization energy for atom G. So, kita tengok here is our one electron kan. Ha, so, ni one electron. Here ni 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ha, here is our 8 electron. Ha, here is our another 2 electron. Okay, sebenarnya ha, kita boleh terus buat uh, shortcut terus. Sini 1S2. Sini jadi 2S2, 2P6 because it electron. Ni jadi 3S1. So, daripada sini kita boleh jawablah soalan dia. Okay, state the number of valence electron. 1. In which group does E belong to? Group 1. Okay. If the ionization number on the graph correspond to all electrons of atom E, what would be the electronic configuration? So, maknanya elektron kita pun semua ada 11 kan? Ha, so, Betul lah, sama lah 11. This is actually the electronic configuration. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S1. Okay, so that's it for the ionization energy. Uh, example 4, I believe you could try it yourself. So that's the end of ionization energy.